Okay, this is a quick guide on how to get the MG Jackknife Pro, which is the boss weapon you get from Warden Garcia at the start of the game. So I've already got my rig and I've already pretty much uh, opened up the direction to the boss fight up there, but what I haven't done yet is obtained the weapon that is, I think, the best weapon for the job. If you have a look in my inventory, I've got three weapons these are the weapons you can get from the starting area there's also a spear that you can get from this lady who's crouched right in front of the med bay so i've, I've put back on the original starting uh def defibrillators because i think most people will just have these at this point so what you want to do is you want to target her uh, right arm that's it's usually in this game uh, weapons are usually on the right arm and you want to make sure you have enough battery power to cut it off, but you'll get that with these because they're very they're a very weak weapon. So pretty much just R1 spam until you see the X. Hold the X button down, and that will cut off her weapon arm. If you pick it up, that's it. The salvaged gouger, I think it's called. So okay, so we'll equip that. This is the best weapon for guaranteeing uh, the boss. Uh, weapon drop because it's very precise when you press R1 because he just pokes forward you can lock onto the boss's right arm and just R1 all the way to uh, the end of the end of the boss fight the reason why I choose this weapon over other weapons I've tested a few of the other weapons in this fight and they don't all guarantee you the boss's uh, weapon drop and that's because when you do uh, combos if I just swap out when you do combos and stuff he does wide arcing swings and if you target the boss's arm you can sometimes hit the boss's head or other areas and not weaken the armor on the boss's arm and for some reason that can work out that can end up being um, what kills the boss without cutting off their arm or what kills the boss without ruining the armor on the boss's arm to the point that it'll give you the X. I don't know why, uh, it just seems to be that precision attacking of the, uh, the weapon arm damages the armor the most and once the armor is damaged you're almost guaranteed the weapon. Now what I would do is I would definitely upgrade this weapon. A little bit more damage does help so We'll go in, we'll upgrade it. Now, I don't have the materials I need to upgrade it, so uh, if you don't have those, that's very easy. All you have to do is keep cutting off the right weapon arm of the people here that have that weapon. So we just come out here and just R1 till we see the X. And then doing that drops the tungsten alloy materials you need. Uh, I probably need some more, so I'll just go and do the same thing to this fella. Right, target the right arm. And cut it off. And that's probably, that's probably all we need. So you don't have to upgrade the spear for this, but I think if you don't, in the runs I did, I wasn't always guaranteed to get the boss weapon. So upgrading that just gives you a little bit more damage the other thing you might want to do is level up your stamina. It's not needed. Base stamina is enough for this fight, but it doesn't hurt. I've got some points, so I'll use them. So a little bit more stamina never hurts. Okay, you can ignore the bosses, uh, the enemies there now. So I've already, as I said, I've already cleared the way to the boss, so we'll go straight to the boss fight now. However, um, there is something very important to know during this boss fight. If you look at my... We won't go in just yet. If you look at the bottom of the screen, the B button there above that, there's a health icon. It's got two, a number two on it. That's the number of pre-charged health injectables that I have. You, you can pre-charge health injectables with one bar of your uh, battery power that you see down below. Now, the problem is uh, I can't demonstrate that to you here because I already have two filled. So I'll just go and I'll, before we go in, I'll just take some damage from this enemy will do so that I can use those two health injectables. All right, I'll use one. Okay, I've got a little bit more room, so I'll use them both. Okay, I've used them both now. If you watch what happens when I target this guy, see the, the blue bar, the battery bar, building up on the bottom of the screen? Now, if I wanted to heal myself now, I could press the B button and it would take one, one bar's worth of my battery power to heal me. 
However, whilst you've got some there, you can pre-charge it. Because when you move around, you actually use your energy up. You can see it going down there. So, and that, you don't want to do that. Whilst you've got a bar available, you want to convert that into uh, health. So I'll press, I'll hold B now and you can see the number one appear. So now I have one pre-charge. Before going into this boss fight, I recommend having two. And the reason for that is, to cut off a, a, enemy's, a boss's limbs or an enemy's limb, you need to have at least one bar of battery power. Now you'll normally get that just from attacking, but if you're, uh, to build up battery power, you have to be pretty aggressive with your attacks and that can put you in danger of being hit, in which case you will need to use your health injectables. If you don't have any pre-charged, it will use your battery power. So if you heal just before the end of the boss fight, you might use your battery power and prevent yourself from having enough left to get the boss's weapon. So by having pre-charges, you guarantee yourself at least two health recharges without using your battery power. So we'll just go in here and get another one from this person. So the battery power is building up and I converted it. And so now I have two pre-charges. All right, so with two pre-charges and a leveled up spear, we're gonna be pretty much guaranteed to be able to get the boss's weapon. So let's do that now. With the boss fight, the trick to this fight is to counter attack the boss, not directly attack the boss, since the boss can directly attack you back. So target the right arm, wait for the boss to, yeah, then dodge and then I didn't do that very well. Okay, so what I was trying to say, I always go slower when I'm narrating things. So dodge, do three attacks, and then get out. Wait for the boss to jump in, dodge, three attacks, and then get out. Three attacks, and then get out. And you can see my battery power is building up. And you can see the yellow marker on the boss's armor is going down. And that's what we want. We want that yellow armor down to next to nothing before the boss fights over. So keep moving so that you don't get shot by the drone. I got shot by the drone then, but I gave it up just so I could get in the three attacks. But if you keep moving when the drone comes out, either left or right, the drone won't be able to hit you. If you... So you can see the boss's health is going down, but so is the armor on that arm. When the boss jumps in. And this is a pretty much guaranteed way of getting the boss weapon. You can do combos and whatnot on the boss, but I don't recommend it because by doing that, you can actually inadvertently hit the boss's head or other areas of the body of the boss's body. Oop, get out of there. So we're looking good right now. Our battery power is almost up to two bars. I wish he would stop doing that attack. That attack's the worst. We just want him to leap in at us. All right, we're getting close. Our battery power is looking good. And his arm is almost completely gone. See the armor is almost gone, the yellow on it is almost gone. We have plenty of battery power on the bottom. So we're almost ready to get an X. There we go. Oh, and he jumped away of all things, but hopefully we'll get another one. Yep, there we go. Got the X and now we can cut off his arm because we have at least one bar of battery power and we targeted the armor. The armor on that arm is all gone. And that's how you guarantee yourself the boss weapon. And the reason you want this boss weapon, I mean the spears are probably the best weapon in the game at this point, but if you have a look at uh, the gear we have, the boss weapon does uh, gets 100% energy gain. That's the amount of 
battery power you gain when you actually hit enemies versus the spear, which is only 25%, and the other weapons. The heavy weapon is like 70%, but um, with a 95% attack speed and 100% energy gain, the initial boss weapon is a really good weapon to have to start with. Okay, well, I hope that helps you guys out, and I'll see you in the next video.